happy Resurrection Sunday. Isn't it awesome knowing that we serve a risen king? Even death couldn't hold him. Even the grave couldn't keep our Savior down. He is alive. He's alive right now. I am so happy to know that. I am just so happy. I just, sometimes I just don't understand the glory and the awesomeness and the life that we have in Him. If it weren't for Jesus, we there'd be no reason to live. And there's no name above the name of Jesus. And if you go to 1 John chapter 5, 11, it says, and this is the testimony God has given us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. It's that simple. It is so simple. We are so loved. This is the most beautiful day that I know in my heart that he's risen. Even death couldn't hold him. I know. It's, it's exciting. In 1 Corinthians chapter 16, 13, it says, Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be men of courage. Be strong. And do everything in love. He suffered for us. My hope is in Jesus, and I know he's going to deliver us. God is faithful. It's a beautiful thing to praise and worship a risen king. It's the most beautiful thing. And that's, that's all I have to say today. It's just so beautiful. It just fills my heart with hope. When you look around and everything can sometimes seem hopeless. It's not. It's not. And when you know that we're in a spiritual battle and the enemy's going to try and trip us up whenever he can, when we're at our weakest, that's when we need to run to the Lord, not away from him. And I'm guilty of, you know, not seeking Him first when I should. And so we're all sinners saved by grace. And it's God's love and it's His mercy. And do you know Jesus could have called 10,000 legions of angels if He wanted that day, but He didn't. He was obedient unto death for us. And I just think it's so beautiful. It just, it pierces my heart. There's like this unknown squeezing of my heart. Because I know he's got me in the palm of his hand. And I know I'm going to need him, especially in the days ahead. I don't know exactly what's coming, but I can tell you one thing. It just... It can terrify you. You know, that's one thing about being a human and being a fleshly person is that natural, carnal, sin flesh to be fearful and afraid. But the good news is when you look in either 1st Timothy or 2nd Timothy, I can't remember which one, we're not even given a spirit of fear. And so when I just look at Jesus and how he overcame this world, because I know one thing, I can't do this life on my own. I can't. And knowing that he's real, he's a risen king, it's, it's beautiful. That's something to share, especially to people that are losing hope, that are weary, that are tired. Don't
Don't you know that's the enemy's job, is to wear out the saints? He's doing his job. We need to be doing our job. And if we feel tired or weary, we need to just draw from him. And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I strongly, strongly would suggest that you do. Search your heart. He's looking out for us, and the times ahead are just not going to be that great. And I'm so glad that he is alive, that he is a risen king, that he's the king of kings and lord of lords. Even the Bible says every knee and every tongue is going to confess that he is the king of kings and lord of lords. And it also says, pray that you're able to stand in front of the Son of Man. I think about that verse and I'll, there's just no way would I be able to stand. I'm just going to raise my hand right now. I'll, I'll be just so overwhelmed that I'm just going to fall flat on my face. Just flat on my face. I mean, I just, I can't even imagine the glory. I just can't imagine it. It's going to be beautiful when we're all together. So I hope you have a blessed day. Hug and kiss everybody in your family and make sure everybody's safe and get firm in the faith. And God bless you. Bye.